Hi, I'm the lead engineer at Alpha Wireless. I'm just going to show you how to connect the RCU with our variable tilt antenna. Uh, before we start, I'll show you a few um, important features on the RCU. There's a D-shaft in the center. Um, the outer diameter has two locks um, located in 180 degrees and a gasket and um, outer rotating nut. The um, antenna mechanism has a plastic part in the middle with a D-shaped hole. It's got two grooves in the casting and an outside thread. How we connected these two bars together is, I'm just gonna take the box for a second here. Um, we need to align the D shaft with the D hole um, in the antenna. We do that by hand until the two align visually. You might want to move the RC around to ensure that the locating locks align with the grooves in the casting body. The rubber gasket is firmly squashed between the two parts. The last step is to bring the rotating nut over and tighten it. This has to be firmly tightened by hand to ensure um, no water ingress inside the RCU. Um, the unit is now ready for AISG controller. In our dual band antennas, the RCUs are labeled to match the frequency band, i.e. the 3.5 gig antennas need to have the RCU with AS0035 as the serial number. The 35 identifies 3.5 gig frequency.